So apparently Square has had it with throwing bird after bird at us to fight and decided, you know what? We're going to give you guys a series of flying aquatic marine life. Is that any better? Not really, but we do what we got to do. Last time it was zombie whales. This time it was these weird shark. These things look kind of small. I mean, maybe it's just in comparison to that massive whale last time, but regardless, these things are kind of pushovers. And I feel weird even saying that because I <laughs> I can't be like, hey, this fight is easy. All I did was get the burst and <laughs> and give blue armor to the two best characters for this fight. That is exactly what I did and I don't regret it. Yes, I gave blue armor to Lael and Kais. And I think it's awesome. Kais's blue armor helps the whole team with, you know, HP damage up and everything. Brave cap up. Good stuff. Lael, he just hits harder, it seems. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really look much at what their high armor does, and I don't care. These two are, are legends in my eyes. I mean, Kais is a more recent one, of course. Lael is a legend of old. Or at least was, not anymore. Now he's, he's legendary all over again, if you ask me. And you, you'll see why in a second. Because it seems like there was a lot of confusion about Lael and if he's really going to be worth it. And a lot of weird cloud comparisons, which literally the only thing they have in common is that they launch and delay, but they function so differently. And you, you'll see how in a second. Well, not in a second, after this burst phase. I think his LD animation looks sweet. I, I just think it looks really cool. I really like it. I think his burst animation is even cooler. He just seems like he's having a good time kicking some ass, which which I, res I respect that. As far as a Lail burst rotation, um, this is just kind of the one I went in blind with, and it seemed to work. You know, if you got launchers, you're going to want to launch every turn in this burst, which is not hard to do with Lail whatsoever. And you'll see it. I mean, with all the chase damage... Okay, how do I even word this? It's like, chase HP value is what they call it. Lael just decreases the hell out of that with everything he does. That's why the launches are so consistent with him. It's it's much different than, say, like a Cloud or a Dark Knight Cecil, where you just press a skill 2 and they're up in the air. It's, it's a lot more different. There's a lot more... It's a little bit more technical if you really want to get into it, but... As far as actually playing it, it doesn't it doesn't feel that way as much. It's it it used to be, but now it's like with everything that they gave this dude. Hold on, listen to him. Yahoo is right. All right, now that burst damage was it was all right. It was decent, but that was just the beginning. Check this out, by the way. We got the Lail LD. We select Terra so we go behind her. Man, we have a launch, but we're not we're not all in order. This sucks. Only two people are gonna get in here. Wait, what is this? That's right. If Lael initiates launches with that overhead buff on, everyone will be involved regardless of how crappy your turn order is. And this fight <laughs> This fight is no stranger to crappy turn orders. They're they're definitely pushing Lael here, of course. Because what they do is they reduce the hell out of your HP. See, look at that. They reduce your HP damage until you launch them for 150k. This was lucky. So that's what we're gonna do. So now th this is where you really get to see how abusable Lael's burst effect can be. Not only is this constant launches, but it's HP damage cap up. Let me reiterate. Not just HP damage up, HP damage cap up for the whole team. So everybody can break the cap as long as that's up by 20%. So we're going to keep that up for as long as possible. Era, do your thing. Layla's doing all this simply by standing there at this point. Very different from Cloud. So basically what we're doing here is keeping the brave hits on everybody at all times. So that way, on the very next turn, we'll have another launch set up. Because you see it, look. The one goes away, and then the other one appears. So we'll get him in the air. 
We just launched him, so his launch goes away. But now look at B. That's what I'm talking about. And you know we're going to keep this going. Now, it gets a little, a little hairy in this fight because these things like to turn jump. Again, they're pushing Lail with that LD, where the turn jumping doesn't matter. You can still get full launches. But if you run a setup like this, where the bosses don't turn jump on you, it is very abusable, as you can see. So they're just flying through the air every turn we're, every turn we're taking, and we're not even adding turns to the count. This is stupid, and I love it. I think uh, any Mega Man X fan will know what I did with the music here. Yeah, launch octopus. I know they're not octopuses, octopi. I don't care. They're sharks, but who gives a shit? They're getting launched. See what I mean? They get to certain thresholds and they turn jump. So now it's just Terra. Which is why we brought Ami to get rid of that. So we got rid of his uh, HP damage reduction. So we'll hit him. Now he's going to put it back up, which sucks. I think it's under 50, they put it back up. Yep, see? So the timing was a little weird there because I just used the Ami call and then they both came back like this anyway, which kind of stinks. But I think we can proc some recovery here. Yes, we can. So we should be able to get that 150k with just Terra and Kais. Yep. And now we gotta do it to you two. Can't reduce HP damage, wonderful. So the plan here is to spend Terra for all she's worth and get Tifa in, go into the summon and win. That's simple. Oh, uh, speaking of polls, by the way, um, I pitied the Lail LD, that's the bad news. Good news is I got three copies of his burst on the way. So I'm not even mad at all about the gems I had to sink. That's that's crazy. I'm, I'm not about to complain after getting three bursts, even if I had to spend a lot, because that's that's still good luck. And I'll still have enough to, uh, to go for Forum, so I I'm okay. Let's take it one day at a time. I wish Lail was in the order with all this, I really do. Oh, there we go. We'll bring him back right now. But, I think they're gonna turn jump again. Yes, they are. That's the one thing that's a little awkward with this fight. But if you bring delays, it won't really matter. Like, like Cloud's really good for this. Because, you know, if they do stuff like that where they just turn jump, Cloud can just blade beam and get them off your backs. Which is really helpful. Okay, it's about that time. So now we have to... I'm wondering if I... I probably shouldn't have used Battlecry there, but whatever. I just wanted to... I just wanted that to happen right there. But look, now they're... Yeah, that was kind of weird timing. Now I gotta do this and the damage is being reduced. Which is not fun. Yeah, see, that should have hit way harder, but that, that was a bit of a mistake there. But it's all right. The turn count is still only at six. I, re I really can't complain about this. First time using the new Lail. Super happy with him. I'm very happy with the Kais uh, High Armor Plus. It's definitely a different take on uh, what we've all been used to seeing as far as Airlines team. Like, it, it might not look different to people who 
who aren't used to running comps like this, it probably all just looks the same. It probably just looks like shit flying around all over the place and doing a bunch of damage. And it is that, but it's still, it's different. Just the way it all functions. There's a lot more, like, team help involved. This team is a lot more, like, battery-centric. As opposed to a lot of the old launch comps where it was really just Kais giving battery to everybody else. And, like, Cloud and Dark Knight just kind of doing their thing. Which also still works wonders. That's still a great team for this stage. Which, you know, is, is shocking to no one. One down. So you gotta go away. Oh, we can... Kais had one turn left on one buff. And all that damage was still happening. That is awesome. Oh, he also gets a, his HP attack changes after he uses his LD, and I just used it there. But you can't really tell because it's it's supposed to battery your whole team, but we were already full, so it didn't matter. Well, let's keep it at eight turns. Battle cry. And done. I am very excited to try Lail out in other places. This is going to be a lot of fun. So, till then, I hope you guys enjoyed. Curious who you guys ran, and I guess I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching.